Rutgers baseball coming up in less than three weeks. Let's go. Welcome to the channel where I'm talking all things Philadelphia Eagles, New York Yankees, New Jersey Devils, and Rutgers Scarlet Knights. Like the video and subscribe to the channel. Hi, right, Rutgers fans. What's going on? Travis Alonis here to talk Rutgers baseball today. Let's go less than three weeks till first pitch out in Rock Hill, South Carolina, taking on Winthrop to begin the season. The Winthrop ballpark out there. Cannot wait. Cannot wait. Season coming up real, real quick. You'll be here for no, just a few weeks till Rutgers baseball is back in action. Uh, we'll get, I'm going to get into everything. Roster, schedule, coaches. Uh, in this video, kind of Bring it all together, preview the season, and uh, just give you all the info about Rutgers baseball. Last year, tough year. They came off the uh, year before, 2022, 44-15 that year. That snub of the NCAA tournament berth, uh, the uh, Big Ten tournament. They were uh, up in and up losing uh, in championship with Michigan. And uh, at 17-7 conference, 19-5 at home. 44 and 15, he got snubbed, and um, tournament berth. And then last year, Rutgers, after following that up, a little tougher schedule, right? They went 33 and 23. Tough losses in there, especially early in the year. Um, non conference, tougher non conference schedule. It's the arms, the arms didn't help us out. We put up some, a lot of, good amount of runs, some games, tight games. Uh, this pitching cannot hold it down. Blew a lot of games late in the games there, which were big. Cost us, and then conference play, same kind of thing. Uh, High-scoring games. I so, uh, couldn't put it all together last year. Had a lot of talent. We lose. We lose, uh, obviously, Ryan Lasko. Heck of a player. Drafted by o Oakland Athletics in the second round. Chris Brito leaves. Um, Evan Slight left, going to Alabama. Lose a few pitchers, guys in the portal, and then uh, so it's gonna be a little different, different team this year. We got some returns, which I'll get to a little bit here, but um, so yeah, come off 33 23 the season last year, 2024 is about to get going, and it's a uh, team pretty, I guess, uh, solid expectations because uh, Steve uh, Steve Owens, I'm gonna do his, his fifth year now, um. Is uh brought in a good amount of talent in transfer portal along with some real good uh recruits from uh, the freshmen and uh, so mix of guys coming back the portal guys and the freshmen it should be a real solid team got to see like I mentioned last year pitching was kind of the down point in the team and uh, held us back so we'll see how the pitching is going to be the main point how they hold up and uh, they can give us length and uh, hold down leads late in games but yeah Steve Pike, Steve Owens. Steve Peichel, Greg Schiano, Steve Owens, baseball coming to his fifth year, a uh, long time, uh, really good coach, college uh, baseball, um, he's an 11-time conference coach of the year, and 26 All-Americans, 57 professional players, 30 winning seasons head coach, again, his fifth season at Rutgers, got his 1,000th career uh, coaching victory last year, Rutgers beat Hofstra. So now uh, we'll go into coaching staff first. Again, Owens head coach and Brendan Monaghan is the uh, Rutgers pitching quote, coach slash recruiting coordinator. Uh, Wayne, New Jersey native, uh, is on his, in his fifth year at Rutgers. And then um, next up is Mike Garza, hitting coach, promoted hitting coach, uh, in July 2023, third year of Rutgers overall. Overseas hitters, infield defense, and assists with the program's recruiting. Next up, coaching is uh, Danny Bethea. Newly added to the program in August 2023. Uh, he'll assist in catchers, uh, hitting offensive development and recruiting, as well as coach first base came Rutgers Bethea uh, to five years on the St. John's coaching staff. Then uh, we got Jack Aren, the director of player development, joined Rutgers in August 2023. Uh, new role, oversees video and data collection. Utilizes synergy and track man technology to assist the coaching staff and helps with scouting opponents. It's going to be a big, big uh, key guy for Rutgers, Jack Oren. And then Peter Barron, director of operations um, and player pro program development in his sixth, or, uh, so yeah, sixth year on the Rutgers baseball staff. Really oversees everything in the program. There's a coaching staff. Now uh, i got all the support staff, a whole bunch of guys making team. 
uh, go. Now the roster. Get into the roster here. Again, I just said a mix of guys returning. Prince for guys. Uh, Steve hit the, hit the portal hard. And then the freshman he brought in. We got uh, Ethan Bowen. Sophomore from Medford, New Jersey. Come back from this team. Then Peter, Pete Safreda. Grad student. Jersey guy. White House Station, New Jersey. 100 Central High School. Played at uh, Lafayette. So portal guy. Coming back home to play his final year at Rutgers. He said, being a baseball player from Rutgers, playing, being, being a baseball player from New Jersey, playing for Rutgers University has been a dream of my life. Again, played at Lafayette, now coming to uh, Rutgers. And did great in the Cape Cod League. Then we got Trevor Cohen, sophomore, one heck of a freshman campaign, 6'1", 195-pound outfielder, lefty-lefty, coming back for a sophomore campaign. Can't wait to see what he does this season. And Christian Capola, right-handed pitcher, our ace, had a, again, sophomore as well. Unbelievable freshman campaign. Just like Trevor Cohen hitting and uh, fielding Trevor Capola on the man. Star, best pitcher. He'll come back, be our ace of the staff. Jersey guy from Galloway. Then Joey um, Dechero. I butchered that name. Another grad student um, from Flemington, New Jersey. 100 Central High School, just like uh, Sefreda. Left handed pitcher. Old Dominion, High, Old Dominion um, College. Again, he said, coming back, his final year, wanted to play at Rutgers for his home state of New Jersey. Love to see that. Guys coming back home to play for Jersey, play in Jersey for Rutgers. And then uh, Ty Doucette, uh infielder, freshman uh, from uh, Nova Scotia, and a uh, real good player. Excited to see what he'll do this year. And then uh, Pete DeRocher, grad student, Emerson, New Jersey, another Jersey guy, coming home for his final year. Um, he played at Manhattan, really good player there, his whole career. Moving down the line, Joey Esposito, freshman catcher, Tin Falls, New Jersey. Jordan Falco, right-hand pitcher, junior from uh, New York. And Sonny Fauci, grad student, Old Bridge, New Jersey. Look at all these guys, transfers, all from New Jersey so far, from St. John's. Again, he said, and quote here, I wanted to come home and compete at, the high, at this high of a level, my home team's, my home state's team. Love to hear that. Sonny Fauci from St. John's. Uh, ben Gorski, guy, senior, Chatham, New Jersey, been in the program, pitching for us for, for years now, coming back, 6'2", 215-pound right hand pitcher, Ben Gorski. And then um, a junior, R.J. Johnson Jr., 5'11", 185 pounds, lefty, lefty, North Carolina, Franklinton. Uh, he played at Gulf Coast State, coming to Rutgers. Should be a big pickup. Don't know much about him. And then uh, J.D. Jones, this guy's a junior. Uh, catcher from Boulder, Colorado. Was at Miami, didn't play much. But uh, it's a big pickup for Steve Owens at the portal. I remember when he got picked up and he committed to Rutgers. Uh, it's a Miami guy. Like big program there, didn't play much, but getting him in here uh, in a mix of all catchers will be big. We'll see how what kind of a season he has. And then uh, right-handed pitcher Jack Kirchner, freshman from Morristown, New Jersey, Bishop Eustis High School. And right-handed pitcher infielder Zach Kostanovsky, uh, uh, Ofsky, butchered that name, freshman from North Brunswick, New Jersey. And our man, Josh Kuroda Grauer, infielder, six foot, 195 pounds, junior from Somerset, um, top 80, 85 prospect, uh, MLB draft. The guys had a great two years at Rutgers. Josh Kuroda Grauer, cannot wait to see what he does in his junior year at Rutgers. And Cam Love, infielder, senior from Staten Island, coming back. Real solid career so far for Rutgers. And Jake Marshall, right handed pitcher, grad student from uh, New York. Coming back for senior year or grad student his final year. Left-hand pitcher Joe Mazza, junior from Manalapa, New Jersey. He's been with the program now a few years. Uh, Jackson Natale, catcher, freshman from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Then catcher outfielder Hugh Pickney, back for his sophomore year. Uh, real, strong, real strong freshman year last year for Rutgers from Toronto, uh, Ontario. And Isaiah Pickney, sophomore from Clayton, New Jersey. Infielder 6'2", 240. 205 pounds. Left-hand pitcher, freshman Gunner Plante. I heard his name, 6'8", 195 pounds. Uh, I expect him to do real good things at Rutgers. 
big guy, left-handed pitcher. Cannot wait to see what he does on the, on the mound for us. Then Sam Portney, uh, red shirt, junior boys, New Jersey, right-handed pitcher, big guy, 6'2", 210 pounds. Uh, real good uh, right-handed arm for us. He's done uh, solid stuff in his career so far for Rutgers. Then Tony Santa Maria, red shirt, sophomore. Tony blew out his uh, shoulder. I think first game last year, really tough, but he's going to be back and ready to go for the 2024 campaign. Pumped up for to watch him play. we got Pablo Santos, infielder, 6 foot, 190 pounds, sophomore from Jersey City, New Jersey. Right-handed pitcher, Justin Shadek, 6'6", 230 pounds, freshman from Canellan, New Jersey. And Justin Cinebaldi, left-handed pitcher, 6'5", 225 pounds, the senior year from Bridgewater, New Jersey. Uh, got better. Season went on last year. From what I've heard, that he uh, put the work in this year. It's looked really, really good in the offseason. Getting ready for the season. You know, so excited to watch. Send a ball. He should be right up there in the rotation with Capola. So big time. Then a right hand pitcher, Gavin Stelflug, Richard Jr. from Branchburg, New Jersey. And Jordan Swe Sweeney, uh, senior infielder, 6'5, 250 pounds, Egg Harbor. Uh, ready to see what Sweeney will do. In his senior, uh, senior year, we have Justin Sweeney, brother of uh, Jordan, 6'3", 220 pounds, right-handed pitcher. We have infielder Nick Tomasso, Tomasetto, freshman from West Deptford, is an infielder, 5'10", 190 pounds. And Johnny Volpe, uh, grad student transfer from Seagirt, New Jersey, played at Ryder. Really good career there. Ryder only had uh, that great run in the uh, tournament, NCAA tournament last year. Was a big player on that team. So he's coming over for his grad year to play at Rutgers. And then um, Scotty Young, outfielder, junior, another transfer. This time not from New Jersey, he's from California. But uh, played his ball, Rowan College, South uh, Jersey, Gloucester. Had a really, really good career there. Lefty-lefty, uh, 6'6", 220 pounds. Again, he was uh, a NJAC, or 2023 NJCAA Division Three National Championship. Slash 441, 481, 614, 2023, 97 hits, 8 home runs, 10 doubles. So it's a monster career there in season last year for Scotty Young. Big time pickup out of the portal from uh from Steve Owens. And the final player on our roster this season. Uh, roster not really loaded right here. It's a uh, left handed pitcher, Donovan uh, Zach. Fresh shirt, freshman from Scotch Plains, New Jersey. As that rounds out the roster. And then um, finish it up, kind of the schedule, go through a quick year. Again, Rutgers opened it up Friday, February 16th, and Rock Hill, South Carolina, taking off, taking on Winthrop. Three-game series, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, 4 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 1 o'clock Eastern time, effectively Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And they'll take you on Old Dominion, Norfolk, Virginia. Weekend series after that, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, 3 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 1 o'clock. Then they come up uh, here. PA take on St. Joe's and at, at uh, St. Joe's February 27th Tuesday 131st pitch they go back out to South Carolina Charleston and take on Charleston Southern March 1st 2nd and 3rd Friday Saturday Sunday 5 o'clock 4 o'clock 11 o'clock then the first game home opener at Baton Field in Piscataway 3 o'clock Tuesday March 5th first pitch first Wagner and they go back out North, North Carolina this time, Greensboro to go on High Point Friday, Saturday, Sunday, March 8th, 9th, and 10th, 5 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 1 o'clock, first pitch is there. Then they will go Chapel Hill, take on North Carolina, March 12th and 13th, midweek, Tuesday and Wednesday night, both 6 o'clock, first pitch is out there in Chapel Hill, that's really exciting there. Then we'll come uh, play Delaware, go to play Delaware. Uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, March 15th, 16th, and 17th, 4 o'clock, 2 o'clock, and 1 o'clock, first pitches in that series. Then Rutgers will host Ryder at Baton Field, Biscayway, March 19th, 2 o'clock, I mean, uh, Tuesday, 3 o'clock, first pitch, then it'll play right after that, Wednesday, 20th, 3 o'clock, first pitch against Lafayette, then uh, so it's a lot of home games this week. That week, uh, then they'll have a weekend series versus UConn, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 4 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 1 o'clock. First pitches all at Baton Field. 
and NJIT March 26th at Batonfield, 3 o'clock on Tuesday. And they open up Big Ten play in East Lansing, take on Michigan State Spartans, March 29th, 30th, 31st, 3.30, 3.30, 1 o'clock on the Big Ten Network. Then um, Hofstra, April 2nd at Bayton Field, 3 o'clock first pitch. Then Maya Maris, right after that, April 3rd, Bayton Field, 6 o'clock first pitch. And then uh, first Big Ten series at Bayton Field, April 5th, 6th, 7th, Purdue, 6 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 1 o'clock first pitches. Then Seton Hall, Rutgers go to take on Seton Hall at South Orange, New Jersey, 4 o'clock, April 9th. Then we go, we will host Nebraska April 12th, 13th, and 14th, 6 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 1 o'clock, first pitches at Baton Field. Then we have a home game, Baton Field against Monmouth, April 16th. Then that weekend, we go out to Iowa City to go on the Hawkeyes, April 19th, 20th, and 21st, 7 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 2 o'clock, first pitches there. And then uh, next up is April 23rd. Home game versus St. John's, 6 o'clock at Bain Field. Go out to Bloomington, take on Indiana, the Hoosiers, April 26th, 27th, and 28th. 6 o'clock, 2 o'clock, and on 12 o'clock, first pitch out there in Bloomington. The calendar then turns to May. And Rutgers will host Princeton, the Tigers, in Piscataway, Bain Field. It's 6 o'clock, first pitch of May, uh, Wednesday. May 1st, and uh, that weekend, we will host Maryland Terps, May 3rd, 4th, and 5th, 6.30, 6.30, 1 o'clock, first pitches in that series. And we'll go out to Happy Valley, State College, take on Penn State Indy Lions, May 10th, 11th, and 12th, 5.30, 2 o'clock, and 1 o'clock are the first pitches set for that series. Then uh, round out the regular season, we will host the Ohio State Buckeyes at Baton Field, May 16th, 17th, and 18th, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, 6.30, 6.30, and 1 o'clock. First pitch is scheduled there. There's the whole schedule. Quick rundowns. Went through the coaches, the roster, the players, the uh, and the whole schedule. And, yeah, so as I mentioned, I mean, it's a uh, upside for this season. I mean, it's, uh, I think, pretty good expectations. I've seen it down year last year after uh, the 40-plus win season. Year before that, tougher schedule last year. I mean, tough schedule this year. But uh, like I said, what Steve's done now with the roster, the guys coming back, the freshmen, the transfers, uh, the guys he brought in, the grad guys, like I said, they want to come back, play for Jersey. A lot of really good talent on this team. A lot of really good talent. It's going to really come down to the pitching. We got a lot of bats, definitely. You lose good bats for sure with Brito, Lasco, Slight, a few other guys who left. But we brought in, like I said, good transfers. We got the guys coming back. And then... Um, guys in their first year that definitely can make an impact in year one at Rutgers. So I'm excited definitely for this Rutgers baseball 2024 season. You guys got comments, drop them in the comment section below. Like the video up, subscribe to the channel if not already. Have a good one and let's go Rutgers!